Hey guys, I'm Evan. Welcome to Country View Solar. So today I'm going to do a little update on my solar power system and what plans I have coming. And I'm also going to be doing a giveaway. So first, let's start with the update. So in my last video, I installed the CTs for the 12K PV. Instead of them being installed here, I installed them back at my main panel on the incoming power from the grid. That way it can monitor the power coming in and out from the power company and I can back feed and try to zero out my meter. So I'm gonna put my energy overview from the EG4 software, I'm gonna put it up here on the screen. So on February 22nd, that was the day I moved the CTs, uh, the brown line represents power that I bought from the power company and the red line represents power that I sold back. And you can see that it thinks that I, I bought and sold about the same amount of power. But then every day after that, there's no more brown line. It says I'm, not, it's, I'm essentially not buying any power from the power company and I'm only using what I make and selling back. Um, and that's what the red line represents, that I'm only selling back power. So when you initially see that, you're like, I did it. I, I've zeroed out my meter. I'm essentially off grid in a way. I'm not reliant on the power company. So instead of taking the software's word for it, I went on the power company's website and I checked their data and I will put the power company's data up here on the screen. So the blue represents power that I bought and the purple is power that I sold back. So the first day is the day I switched it and instead of being equal amounts of power sold and bought, you can see I actually bought a little bit more. And on the, the next days, instead of being no power bought, you can see that I did buy a little bit of power every day. So it, this ranges from about five kilowatt hours a day all the way up to 11 for a total of those last seven days there being 44 kilowatt hours that I purchased from the power company. So the readings don't quite match. Now the reason they don't match is because my CT sensors are all the way up there. I've got a long piece of cable and it could be um, subject to noise and induction from other electrical wires in the ceiling and that could throw off the reading. But I do want the, the EG4 and the power company, I'd like to have their readings be as close as possible to matching. So I think I've got like two choices. Now one is what they call a CT power offset and it is in the advanced settings for the, in the EG4 software and that is what I'm playing with now trying to uh, tweak that a little bit and see if I can get the power company in the EG4 12K PV to match. Now, if I can't get that to work, I think my other choice is to install a, I put a Cat5 cable in here and I could probably put like a Cat7 shielded cable, which would be a higher quality. It would have less noise induction on the cable and I could swap out this to a Cat7 cable and see if that helps. So I'm going to keep experimenting with this over the next few weeks and I'm going to see if I can improve this at all and, and make it any better. So the weird thing about it is it's not just the power that I'm buying from the power company doesn't match, it's also the power that I'm exporting doesn't match as well. So instead of buying 0.6 kilowatt hours, I bought 44, but instead of selling back 51.7, I actually sold back 170 kilowatt hours, quite a bit more than what it thought it sold back. So I buy my power at 15 cents a kilowatt hour. I sell it back for three. So I ended up buying power for $6.60. I sold some back for $5.10. So that week ended up being a net of $1.50 in power that I ended up buying. So overall, even though I'm trying to tweak this, I have almost zeroed out my electric bill. For $1.50 in electricity for an entire week, I think that is success. So behind me here in the workshop, this is what I've set up for my solar power videos. And the next system I'm gonna be installing on this wall is the 12,000 XP off-grid inverter. I've actually had it for several months now. And I'm finally gonna get it installed. It's gonna go over here on the wall, somewhere by where the solar panel's resting. And we're gonna get it wired up to the breaker panel so that we can power all the things in the shop. We can do some testing with it. We can also do some comparisons between it and the 12K PV. I'm hoping to get that installed this week. And now to the giveaway. So I'm gonna be running a raffle to give away the Opus Mega 2 power station. This is a solar power station. It can be charged from a wall, from your vehicle, 
from solar panels. There's several, several different ways you can charge this and use it in a power outage. This is a 2,500 watt inverter. It's only 120 volts, not 240, so it's probably not gonna run huge, really big appliances or well pumps, but it can be very handy in a power outage. So Opus did send this to me to do a product review, and I don't need this power station myself, so I just wanna give it away and pass it on to you guys, the viewer. And just a little hint, anytime I do a video and it says channel announcement, announcement's gonna be code word for giveaway. And I really want a power station like this to go to you guys, the viewer. I'd, I'd ask you guys not to really share this video with other people. I'd rather it just be able to be seen by my subscribers and the people that actually watch this channel get a chance to win this. So anytime you run a contest on YouTube, you do have to have some rules. They will be listed in the description of this video, but I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna read these off. So first, the participants in this have to live in the 48 contiguous United States, the 48 lower United States. And that the reason for that is for shipping. Um, these power stations have lithium iron phosphate battery in it, and that is considered a hazardous material. So the last one of these I, I gave away, it was a little smaller unit than this, but it cost me, I think about 70, one seventy-two dollars, something like that, to be able to ship the power station to the individual that won, and it took like two weeks to get there, like two states away. They they can't go on a plane; it has to be freight the whole way, and um, it's very slow shipping and costly. Rule number two is participants need to be at least eighteen years or older. So number three, the prize is an Opus Mega Two, and it is a used and tested model. It is being given away as is condition, no guarantee on product quality or the, the condition when you actually receive it in the mail. YouTube, Opus, Facebook, and pretty much everybody else has no affiliation with this giveaway. Uh, this product was given to me by Opus and I am the one actually giving this away. YouTube, Opus, they're not associated with this. So this contest will begin on March 10th, 2025, and it's gonna go through midnight of March 16th, 2025 Central Standard Time. And I will pick the winner the next day on March 17th, and I will contact that individual by email to let them know that they won. And the winner has seven days to respond back and give me a address to ship it to that is in the lower United, 48 United States. If I don't get a response in those seven days, I will end up picking a different winner. And to enter this contest, all you do is have to follow the link down below to Rafflecopter and fill out the form. The form should, um, you should be able to enter an email address and then you should answer a question to verify that you live in the lower 48 United States. So to do this giveaway, I'm using a website called Rafflecopter. It's very um, generic and simple website and it is free and that's it's a free way to be able to do a giveaway but a lot of people had trouble with it last time where they couldn't get it to open or they couldn't get it to work and I think the reason for that is it, it does try to capture your IP address um, like what computer your IP is and where you're from um, and it captures that as part of that data log for the winner and if you're using a VPN and you're trying to hide uh, your true IP address or, or where you're from, it's probably not gonna work for you. And there's certain web browsers, um, I'm not sure like which ones, like a Netscape or, or different ones that may not work. So if you do have problems with this, uh, try switching to a, a different web browser, turn off your VPN if you have one. Uh, if you can't work on a computer, you may try it on a phone. But since so many people had trouble with this, I'm just gonna walk you through the process real quick on how easy it is to enter this raffle. So when you follow the link to the raffle, the page is gonna look like this. It's gonna say the Opus Mega 2, and it says you need to log in either using your Facebook account or just entering your email address. I'm going to suggest you just use your email address and click that button. When it comes up, you have to enter your name and enter your email address to log in, and this is how we are going to be able to contact the winner and notify them, so that information has to be entered. Click log in. Verify that you qualify for the contest. That's all you have to do. So what it's asking is for you to verify that you live in the 48 
contiguous United States and that you are 18 years or older. So all you have to do, if that is true, just type in yes and click enter down on the bottom right hand of that box and you are entered into the raffle. And you can see at the very top above it, it went from zero to one and I am the first person that has entered the contest. Of course, I won't be one of the winners, um, but it is that easy to enter this, this raffle to sign up. So after the contest is over and a winner has been picked and they've responded back with their address, I will post a quick video just to announce the winner and congratulate them. So I wish you guys all uh, the best of luck in the raffle and I'll see you in the next video.